Hey guys, uh, Jeremy here. As you can see from the title, it's kind of an interesting topic to talk about. Um, the reason why I did my top 10 list for movies uh, a few days ago was because I was going in for surgery for testicular cancer. Now, for any of you who didn't know, uh, from my friends and whatnot, I pretty much found out about two, three weeks ago when, um, I'm gonna get a little bit in detail here, when Lefty kind of turned into a soft, hard-boiled egg. Very large, very egg-like. So I went in to my family doctor, and he took me to a urologist who sent me to a ultrasound, who sent me to a CT, who brought me back to a the urologist, and I was given a notice that I had testicular cancer in my left guy. A supposed four centimeter tumor was inside him. So obviously I had to get that operated on and I've just been kind of waiting up for it and I got operated on on the 29th and this is the first time I've been able to do anything in front of the camera because I've been in a bit of pain. I It hurts to stand right now. Uh, this video isn't for sympathy or anything of that sort. It's more so just an update as why I'll look like shit and talk very slowly for the next little while. It's also a notice to my friends who didn't know. I thankfully, so far from what the CT can scans have said, I have it nowhere else in my body, at least as for now. I'm obviously going to be going in for blood work and CT scans for the next three to six months. But otherwise, I dodged a bullet. All I lost was my nut so far. Uh, one guy who I have been watching for videos on how to kind of deal with this and what to look for and everything is Furious Pete. He's a workout guy my brother showed me. And the, he really has a good idea of what to do. Um, really, guys, always be checking. Never not check. If something feels odd, go and get that checked out. Don't look it up on the internet. Go to, like, or on Yahoo Answers or shit like that. Go to, like, a medical.org or call one of those 1-800, uh, like, 24-7 nurse uh, phone lines. They'll give you some answers and then your family doctor. If you feel something is wrong, you insist. I know a few people who have had been in the same situation as me and their family doctor was hesitant and things got worse before they got better. So I'm very thankful to my family doctor for having helped me out so quickly. Um, I'm going to be a bit slow for the next few weeks, obviously. As I said, it hurts to stand. I have, I think, 0.5 kilometers an hour as my top speed, and I can barely lift up a teacup. But as I said, this is more so a notice for you guys that you should check. Always be checking. Don't think that you're invulnerable or uh, you won't be affected. I was of that ignorant sort of ideal. I I think for my dad's side of the family, no one had been affected by skin can or any kind of cancer since my great great grandmother. So I jumped four generations to me. My mom's side, my aunt had a small thyroid thing in her thigh and some spots of skin cancer, but otherwise, again long line so I came out of the blue thankfully and hopefully no one else in my family is affected my brother or anyone else and I also have to thank my family and my girlfriend for being so helpful in this this current situation but um, everyone my friends anyone who knew anyone who gave support thank you and yeah so this is the last day of 2016 it took a lot of good <laughs> Good. It's a, a really well-known and loved celebrities, and it took my left nut. So let's just hope that 2017 is a lot better. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to let you know I'm okay. Um, I wanted to update those friends who I hadn't talked to about yet about what was going on. And I just wanted to get together and say let's hope that 20, uh, 2017 is a lot better than this one. Anyway, guys. Oh, yeah, I got to show you. Yeah. They, they gave me a thing for hay fever, which is funny because I just told them I was allergic to spring. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I'll see you guys soon.